Champ Barbecuers. Today, we're doing up bacon cheeseburger pie. Oh, hell yeah. This is going to be awesome. And we're going to do it in the Weber. And uh, we are using the slow ones here and some uh, wood lump charcoal. We're going to get that up to about 350. We're going to assemble this cheeseburger. It's going to be like a giant cheeseburger. Or it's going to be a pie. Because unless you got a mouth big enough and a bun, I bet you you could take one of those um, pumpernickel breads, that type of cut it in half and use it as a bun when we're done. Hell yeah.
could be the biggest cheeseburger ever or it could be like a meatloaf so you decide if you're that damn hungry boom oh -ho! yeah let's check that thing out hot damn one tip drain the grease a couple times so this sucker will get crispy enough otherwise Man, it's just going to be, it was, that uh, cast iron pan was almost three quarters full of grease from this sucker. Woo, this is getting hot. Yeah, heck yeah. So, do it. Awesome. Bacon cheeseburger pie, done. Looks and smells amazing, why not? Because there's a lot of bacon. So, <laughs> check it out. There's a slice. If you wanted, you could put that on a bun, or that, that monster one. <laughs> you could make like the biggest, like, you know what I'm saying? And then you could slice that up into slices with a bun if you wanted. But it's going to get soggy. A lot of grease. Oh, hell yeah. really cheesy too heck yeah and those fried onion rings that I did just fresh onion rings or fresh onions slice them up douse you know put them in some flour drop them in some I did uh, canola oil yeah easy the second batch I burnt well I ain't gonna lie they're in the garbage <laughs> I ran in I thought I was had plenty of time Oh, hell no, no, not plenty of time. Plenty of time to burn them. That's what I had. So, anyway, this is all rocking. It really is. You guys get an opportunity, for sure. This is something you're going to want to try. And it really wasn't that hard. I worked today, got out, I said, I got this. I got dinner. I'm going to do it. And, uh, yeah, it took about half an hour longer than I expected, but that's because of the grease. And then I added the fried onion rings, is what it is, but man, whoa. That's really good. I mean, really good. <laughs> But use whatever cheese you want. This is something else you could turn into a crazy mushroom and Swiss giant cheeseburger pie. Oh, oh. If you're a Swiss fan, every now and then, I like my Swiss cheese. That would be pretty good. I love baby fella mushrooms. And beer. So, give it a try guys this was this was rocking and uh got some surprises coming oh lots of surprises so many surprises i don't know if i have the room i may have overdone it but santa claus was good to rob oh yeah so we'll uh i'm gonna show you guys as it starts arriving what I've got going on. 
So I am so glad I did not build anything there yet. Yep. Well, I will eventually. Same concept is going to happen. Still got the idea with just new things. You wait. The suspense is building. Some of you know a couple of them, but there's one thing I've never told nobody that is coming. I think that's the first one that's going to be here soon, soon. But I do know that the freight carrier said it was over 200 pounds. I don't know what's on there. Two or three of them, all of them maybe? I don't know. Awesome. I can't wait. I cannot wait. But my Weber, of course, will always be used. It won't be replaced. But... Comment down below if you have a guess of one of the three things that I got coming. I may have spilled the beans on one one of the things to somebody else, but other than that, nobody knows the third item. Guys, guess down below. I will pick a winner and send you a free Beer Champ barbecue t-shirt or a sticker, whatever you want, for Christmas. If you guess that third item before it arrives and I make a video. Oh, hell yeah, awesome. Let's do it. I will catch you guys on the next cook. And um, Thanksgiving is two days away. I'm not cooking turkey. I'm doing something different. The old lady's cooking the turkey. So, uh, it is, I like to smoke my turkeys, but it is what it is. Um, I'll show you something probably I made last year. But with a twist. We'll see what happens. I will catch you guys in the next, next cook. Thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. You know the deal. You know the drill. Get yourself a nice cold beer. And I'll catch you guys next cook. Later. <laughs>